What's up gamers, Jim here and welcome to the first look for Watch Dogs 2 and also before we begin this game does actually give you an option right here on the video if you want FPS or resolution mode so I will be playing at high frame rate which is upscale 4k 60 FPS uh, because I love 60 FPS games <laughs> let's go let's go to new game but if you want 4k 30 you do have the option there uh, note that at any point in time you can change the difficulty level um, it should be on default it should be on normal so let's continue so so far I've played Watch Dogs Legion and Watch Dogs 1 on Stadia uh, Watch Dogs 1 if you haven't already go check that out it's uh, it's a uh, great game uh, it's a great port on Stadia as well. It gives you an option for upscale 4K60 as well as this game. But yeah, let's see what this game's like. Let's see how smooth it is. What does it look like? How does it play? I have played Watch Dogs 2 before. Um, I can't remember if it was on PS4 or PC. I think I played it on PC. I played Watch Dogs 1 on PS4, but I played Watch Dogs 2 on PC, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's been long. Uh, if, if you're gonna ask me what's my favorite Watch Dogs game, mine is Watch Dogs 1. Um, but it doesn't mean Watch Dogs 2 is bad, no. Uh, the thing about Watch Dogs 2 is it, it's, it feels like a whole different game. It doesn't feel like a Watch Dogs sequel. It just feels like let, they, they got Watch Dogs and they're like, let's, let's just change everything about it. But it doesn't mean it's bad, it's good. Watch Dogs 2 is a good game as well. Just different. So wait, this game literally just makes you start? No cutscene, no introduction? Okay, I like that. <laughs> Let's get straight to the point, I like you already. I remember you have like this string with a ball attached, like as your melee weapon. So, re really quick here, uh, so you can see you can see the graphics right here. Uh, it's really smooth, by the way. Let me try with the mouse real quick. Yeah, with the mouse, it's so smooth. Uh, but I'm gonna stick to controller. Uh, let's go to uh, how do I go into is it? Hold select, no start game options. So let's quickly jump into uh, high resolution mode, so you guys can just see it for like a few seconds, see what that's like. You know, just compare if you want. This is high resolution, okay, and it really is high resolution. <laughs> it looks so detailed right now on my screen. Everything is so detailed. It actually looks really good. Uh, we're trying with the mouse. Actually, not bad. Hold on. Uh, let me try. Not bad, actually. Even for... Is this even 30 FPS? I mean, there's definitely an FPS drop, but it's still smooth. It still plays really smooth, that's weird. Let me try the controller, yeah. It actually, it's really playable at high resolution mode. I'm s surprised if this is 30 FPS because I don't like 30 FPS games. Um, I can definitely see that the frame rate has dropped from 60, but this feels too smooth to also be 30, it's weird. But yeah, um, this game gets a gem pass on 30 FPS being playable. I should probably start making a list on what games those are because there are some games like Far Cry 5 and New Dawn where it's completely unplayable in 30 frames. I need that 60 FPS option. But this game, it's smooth on 30 FPS when I'm aiming. It's real smooth. It feels local. Uh, but. I am still going to switch to 60, despite what I just said, I'm still switching to 60, uh, because I like 60, because <laughs> 60 is just, mm, it's so smooth, <laughs> and there we are, and you can already see a bit of a drop in detail, it still looks great, but you can see the differences, um, yeah, let's continue, now it's just real proper smooth, especially with the mouse, honestly, it's just, they're both great options, you know, it's up to you what you want to play as. Um, so let's just, let's just stealth. Yeah, this is it. This is the rope thing I was talking about with the tennis ball attached to it. It's amazing how, it's, it's amazing how three of these Watch Dogs games are completely different from each other. 
like Watch Dogs Legion is nothing like this, and Watch Dogs One is nothing like this, and Watch Dogs One is nothing like Legion. So everything, every Watch Dogs game has been like unique. So there's like a lot of CTOS. Oh, you can zoom now. I don't think that was an option in the first one. Wait, I'm taking a picture. Released from mental hospital, it says. Oh, hold, hold up for the equipment. I got a gun. Wait, is that? Oh, it's a stun gun. I remember in this game. They must have got complaints in Watch Dogs 1 or something. I remember in this game is when they started introducing, hey, you don't have to be lethal. Uh, you can be, you know, you can use a tennis ball on a, on a rope if you want. <laughs> or you could use tase guns. He's not getting away. Wait, what? People saw me? How did you guys see me? How, how did you see that? Or, or did they actually just hear the noise? If they heard the noise, then that's fair enough. I guess when you're like, mum, 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 I guess you can hear that. <laughs> so, why do I prefer Watch Dogs 1, you ask? Oh, wow, that was a cool flip. Uh, the reason for that is not even gameplay. Like, if I'm going to pick gameplay, Watch Dogs 2 is better than Watch Dogs 1 in terms of gameplay, you've got more stuff to do, it's more uh, open world-ish, uh, if that's a word. Um, it, there's like more unlocks, more abilities, skills, whatever, it's more fun to play Watch Dogs 2. But the reason why I prefer Watch Dogs 1 is because I was really engaged in the story, it felt realistic, it was so dark, it just felt so real as well, I just it was the story that brought that game to life. Uh, but if you want something like pure gameplay, I guess you could go for Watch Dogs 2 and Legion. Um, but I, I, I've only played 10 minutes of Legion, <laughs> so I don't, I, I can't really uh, give you my opinion about Legion at the moment. Because I will do another first look video for that once Ubisoft Plus comes out. Uh, what is this? Hack to open or close? But everything's locked. So I have to go up there. And I... How do I climb? Can I climb this? Oh, I have to climb that. Tap L1 to open hackable doors. I love that backflip. That's so cool. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> that is so cool. I like it. It's so unnecessary, but I love it. Look at that. Oh, I didn't do it this time. Did it only do it if I hold R2? Let me check again. <laughs> or is it just a random animation? Let's see. Oh my god. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, mmm. Delicious. <laughs> okay, let's continue. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? I have no idea. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. Even though it's on 60 FPS mode, it still looks detailed. But then again, this is a cutscene. <laughs> but it's real time cutscene, so. Yeah, it still looks good. It's it's great. I have no retro. complaints. The home domain awareness hacker? I'm just glad that, that you have retro? an option. You know, yes. if you want to play 4K30, yeah, you can, and it's and it's got my approval. It's playable. <laughs> but if you're giving me a 60 FPS option, I'm always picking that. Uh, let's see. There's a donut here. Can we shoot it? Oh, 
What is that down there? It's something in there. Oh well. Let's just keep going. Old L1's one's profile. Locate an acquired access key. Money wired. <laughs> yeah, I think I definitely played this on PC because I don't remember these controls <laughs> or this uh, this layout. R3 toggle net hack. Uh, listens to old school rap. What? Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm on a laptop. Oh, you can see it through the walls. Just took seventy-three dollars. No reason. Just seventy-three. <laughs> Shut down the server tower. Okay, let's go here. Items acquired, botnet recharge. Isn't. Am I not hacking this? Do I have to zoom in? No. Oh, it's a physical hack. Oh, you have to physically go there. And why did I even do all that? <laughs> My controller just vibrated. I'm not sure why. I could just go upstairs here. raised in Oakland but was born in <laughs> his deal is he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC and he's got cred figured ah the gun just dropped on the hardest difficulty nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before I want to see if he's smart stubborn or both so can I am I only seeing the enemies that I've seen from the camera or is it just automatic Tagging tutorial. Wait, okay. Tag enemies to. Oh, target enemies, tag them. Tagged enemies can be seen in minimap through walls. Enemies are tagged and profiled automatically when using a camera or net hack. So, like this, basically. So, all I have to do is press R3 and that's it. <laughs> Does it for me. I do like this view, it's so useful. Oh my god! Well, there's a gun there, but I can't pick that up. Yo, what's up? Ah, tennis ball to the face. <laughs> this hat. I thought that was gonna be a mini game, but oh well. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high tech burglary, so. He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system. Always in the system. Climb Holy inside shit. the server tower. He went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. You know, I, it's cool that I can hear what they're thinking about me, but the question is, does the character, can the character really hear it, or is it just for narrative pur purposes? Because if it's narrative purposes, it doesn't make sense on why I can hear it, you know, if that makes sense. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> uh, but it is cool that I like it. <laughs>
He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Oh god, is that Fahrenheit? <laughs> Must be right. <laughs> I don't know what 120 Fahrenheit is. Props. It's going the mile. gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. <laughs> secret cow level. I think that's a reference to a real game. I remember something like that on... I want to say it was a Blizzard game, but I can't remember. It was a secret cow level. Like, it's a meme on the internet. Alright, let's do this. There's a guy there. I don't see anyone else. Uh, hack the terminal. Uh, okay. The gameplay is so much more different than Watch Dogs 1. That was my mouse on the screen Why for a second. <laughs> this is bullshit. could just nice just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. I'm surprised that my character doesn't care about the CCTV cameras. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to check him out. Uh, well. A is for function, X proximity, shutdown, attract. Hang on, wait, what was that? Oh. Man out! Oh, man's already out. <laughs> what does that do? Can I just do this? It's like one person here. Looks like there's way more in... Oh, I see there's some here. Oh, do I need to... Oh, I think I need to actually target them with the camera. I guess I could just play like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, L3 to sprint. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. And then I was like, Batman! <laughs> okay, run, run, run. Just looking for any life in my way. I could climb down this, aren't I? What was that? Oh, tennis ball to the balls. Oh, and a kick. Are there people here? <laughs> the middle thing. Fuck you, Bloom. Oh my god. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So? Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sack. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, your hot sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Crew too. <laughs> Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No, sledgehammers on fire. Oh, <laughs> All that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. 
Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. <laughs> they look like they don't care. <laughs> Install the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do oh. you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look... Familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking <laughs> this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Go hack my phone. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. It's <laughs> actually quite a good intro to a game, I like it. It's really good. Oh my god, I'm in boxes. <laughs> I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first Ooh, day. Bad luck there. Oh, what is going on? That's a bit quite laggy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, it's getting laggy. I don't know what that is. Uh, press start to open your phone, go to the app shop. Let's buy some maps. <laughs> Install maps. I can, I have like 10 grand, I can afford all these apps. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember this map. I remember like always going around this part. Uh, buy new pants at the clothes shop. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. So, that's a restaurant. <laughs> uh, visit a clothes kiosk. 
Oh, I could fast travel there as well. And you could buy some cars. And I'm getting copyright strike. <laughs> it's already too late. <laughs> Might as well listen to the radio. <laughs> Can I at least change the radio station? I don't know what button is. Have you heard that Jimmy Sisko is launching his own fleet of food trucks? Apparently, they're going to start serving right here in the Bay Area. Oh, first person view. Expand across the country. What do you think of celebrity restaurateurs? The stars have what it takes to serve us great food. And I thought about opening my own place one time or another. Call it something uh, like Dylan's. Listeners, if you have a great menu that you think I should be serving in my imaginary place, send it my way. Hit me up on my invite. The best one gets a free meal at Le Potage. The hottest spots in town. Coming up There's right a, here, the hottest a lot in of town. lag spikes lately. And I'm sure you guys can see that in the video. I'm seeing someone. Yeah, <gasps> oh, I want I want that thing on top. I want that. Is that says sea lion? Oh, damn it. Hold on. Why to shot? I don't want a hat. Oh, I can literally pick it pick what I see from the kiosk. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like the color of this. Can I change it? What's this? That doesn't look bad. Oh. No, I'm going for sea lines. Got a wardrobe. <laughs> the morning after. I guess, yeah, I guess they don't actually sell pants. <laughs> Is that a hacker? Registered sex offender. There are several ways to uh, hack people. What's the deal? Wow, no! That's ridiculous! What? You said that's ridiculous. Oh my god! Wow! Hey, that guy's taking a, Let's get a pic. picture of me. Dude, don't take a picture of me. <laughs> Hello? Oh, damn it. Right now. You think you matter so much? Wait, isn't that the... You don't matter that's a sex offender. Where's my gun? Actually, I don't even want my gun. I just wanna... Where's my tennis ball thing? <laughs> oh god. I'm just gonna get this bike. Buy new pants at a clothing store. Okay, uh, let's go back. Need a clothing store, there's one here. I can fast travel, but I just don't want to. <laughs> oh, you can't do first... I guess this is first person. Yeah. You know what, for this part... Let's actually try 30 FPS mode just to see the difference uh, in quality. Just, just to like actually go to the store. Let's do it this way. Let's see what driving's like. You can immediately see the difference in quality. It is harder to. Oh my god! Yeah, it's harder to actually control at 30 for the bike. But you, I mean, you could get used to it. Ooh. Oh, third time's a charm will start. Make three jumps. 
Okay, I'm going back to 60 FPS. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Video 60 FPS. There we go. Much smoother. <laughs> Easier to control the bike. That sounded like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, like a bike store or something. Biker's store. Oh, there's like a theme to the store. It's not bad, actually. I'm gonna wear that. Oh, I thought it. There we go. Bags. No, I like the bag that I already have. That looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I like this one. <laughs> Oh my god, I look so cool. It's literally just taking any vehicle I want. Re uh, reach the dead side. Alright, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Okay, that is so far away. I'm just gonna fast. Okay, I can't fast travel there. I could fast travel here, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna fast travel so the so the entire video is not just me driving. <laughs> oh, there's even a clothing store here. Let's check it out real quick. Oh my god, <laughs> this one. Hey, there's a horse. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, a cat one. <laughs> oh my god. Is that pizza? <laughs> that one's funny. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was just about to change my mind. Then I changed my mind again. I'm just gonna run there. <laughs> I can't remember if it spawned me with the vehicle when I fast traveled or it just put me in front of the building on foot. Okay. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Way to fight. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? I'm lost. Hey, it's like a... What is this place? Like a bookstore? First thing you see is the middle finger. <laughs> oh, I remember that yellow box thing Yo, is where you could finally. create new weapons. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. And yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. all right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. 
I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. I just realized I'm wearing wireless earbuds. But, like, it's, it's actually the one I have in real life. And, I don't know, I don't think they were that popular back then when this game came out. Behold, our very own open source research app. <coughs> so, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find. And we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. Research app. Oh, this is like, oh, it's, this, it's literally like Watch Dogs 1 where you unlock stuff. Like the similar interface. Uh, hardware. Oh, it says literally unlock, I guess, anything I can do. Um, create distraction. Okay, create distraction. Uh, vehicle directional. Whoops. Uh, remote control. That looks fun. No, we looked at that. Knocks people out. Marksmanship. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Talk to wrench. Isn't yeah, that isn't that wrench? <laughs> Behold the wonders of technology. A three D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Okay, so I can make something from the 3D printer. I could build a stun gun. <laughs> Weapon slot. Is this an actual lethal weapon? Oh wow, it is a. I think it's an actual real weapon. Like, it's not like a stun gun or anything. But it looks like a toy gun. <laughs> and it says print the RC jumper. Yeah, I'm sure it printed the wheels. <laughs> like, it prints and builds. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what kind of 3D printer is this? So we got an actual pistol. Talk to Horatio. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. Online 
So there's, yeah, there's oh, online co-op and stuff. I think there's even online racing, if I remember correctly. But I've never That's played something. online on Watch Dogs right. 2. This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. Press the start. Dead sick app. So this is basically like the story quest line thing. Walk in the park. Reach the park. Wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. Mission progress, uh... But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. Look for an orange signal to locate side operation intel. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh! And see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keepster Merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death! Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Come on, Bobo. Did I just talk to them? Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. Just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And yeah, maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks, because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Uh, Dead Sec app. Tracking mission. Hack the phone. Oh, wait, auto waypointed. That's nice. But where are we going exactly? Okay. Oh, the backflip. <laughs> Actually, um,. Oh, I just pulled out my gun. Whoops. <laughs> Where is my vehicle place? Is it this? <laughs> Driver San Francisco. Get paid and gain followers for every ride you complete. Pick up clients and drive them to your destinations. Oh, interesting. It's literally called Driver San Francisco. I've missed that game. It's such a great game. 
Is it scouts? Nope. Car on demand. Car on demand. We've got sports cars. Marcus, guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hackers' wave. I'm on my way. Uh, order complete. Oh, is it there? I guess this is my car. Hack or break open the truck. Uh, worlds and activities. Armored trucks. Okay, open the truck doors by hacking or destroying them. Pick up a package and disable the trucking device to retrieve the money. Cool, I, I didn't know this game had open the fence. I don't remember this at all. Reaching. Uh, whoops. No, what are you doing? No, I don't want this. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion uh -oh. line. Ah, oh, I got sh killed immediately. I had no chance. But how am I supposed to go there and pick it up as a level one? <laughs> like, they, there's like three people with rifles and heavy armor. Oh, that was a cool transition. That was a really cool transition. And you know what? I'm gonna go on the motorbike. <laughs> and uh, let's go to Dead Sick app. Where is? Oh my God! What what were we doing? We were supposed to hack something. Was it this? Yeah, this is it. Let's just do that. Yeah, that mobile looks cool. <laughs> and I'm awful. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get on the bike again. I have a f strong feeling I'm going to hit something one more time. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. Get Hello. Out. Hey, no! Someone's going to run! Oh, okay. I guess I just go up here. Do I just walk in? You can see their moods as well. Flagged in police database. I've got a new Bobo track the world has never heard before. Stripper. How's the soundboard coming? <laughs> Income Bobo 60 Bates, grand. <laughs> Perfect. So, how do we contact Karkani? I'm gonna visit his mansion. I need to see his face when we do this. Yeah. 
hack into someone and say, hold on. Tracking mission. Oh, we just, I guess it's this. Even though it doesn't show me a waypoint, I assume it's this. And this green one, I think it's that Uber thing? Yeah, it is. Physical hack. Warning: Intrusion detected. Wait, I'm in. I'm in this dude's house. Mess with the farmer clown. This ass face deserves it. It says live streaming. Are we actually live streaming on like an Hello? open platform? Sup? Uh, sup? Who is this? Yo, bitch! It's Bobo Jakes. Holy shit! I'm a huge fan. Are you taking me up on my offer? Yeah, I laid down some hot tracks. Really? Fantastic. Yup. Can I get a sample? your best work yet you're welcome and this is exclusive right no one else gets this just me yep so how do you want payment bitch better have my money i do i just need to know how to route it to you y'all check it ah there that's the routing number yep <laughs> uh -huh. the soundboard thing <laughs> <laughs> Just using a soundboard. Sent and confirmed. You got it. This is awesome, man. This is like a dream come true. Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. What? They say God made man in his own image. But God made himself in Bobo's image. What are you talking about? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no! What? This is really cool. Come on, what are you guys doing to me? Why me? Come on! I'm a good guy! Jesus, it's just business! <laughs> I got shareholders, bitches! His mood changed. <laughs> it's weird that I can hack people, like, pack people's thing and to see, to see their moods. Guys, guys, he just, he just donated 20 million to leukemia research. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. <laughs> Yo, who did that? You know what? Let's try that, that Uber thing. I love how there's a cop right down this road. And that's what I do. Let's try this. Start right. I don't know what music I'm listening yeah, to right now. I don't know how to change the way <laughs> this song. You just made my day. Where do we start? I've got a track on him, but it's behaving erratically. He may be trying to block me. What? <laughs> All right, let's find him. I'm scanning for his transmission beacon. It'll help us narrow in on. Okay, how do I change the radio? <laughs> it's so Johnny annoying. Johnny Five has never been on his own before. Johnny Five? You have good taste in movies. No disassembly. Oh well. You don't work in robotics without a love for the classics, but his real name is NS245. Titus? Titus. 
I've got five stars so far. Oh my god! Ooh, that was a close hit. Drive around so I can look for him. Search for the robot in the highlighted area. Am I searching for it or is it the NPC that's doing it? Is he playing with us? I don't see him. Let's move on. Johnny Five is programmed to learn the way our brains do. A biological nervous system? That's the new generation of AI, right? Hey, you know your robots. Oh, I know my robots. So, why are you driving a cab? Let's drive around this zone. <laughs> why are you driving a cab? Darn it! He's not here. Well, let's hit the next spot. Cool. So tell me, is number five alive? He self-learns, but sadly no. But his programming is goal-oriented, so it's possibly decided his goal was to go sightseeing. On his own? Johnny Five, where are you? Search for the robots. We found him. Wait, what? Where? Oh, that. We found him. Fantastic. And before he could join Los Locos too. Uh, we don't ever quote the secret. My bad. Los Locos kick your ass, Los Locos kick your face, Los Locos kick your balls into outer space. Well, I just played Driver San Francisco Watchdog style. And with that, um, you know what, I'm just going to go down here, park my car. <laughs> oh, can I actually do it? Looks like I can. I don't even know where this place is. But I can do it. <laughs> and there's other cars here. <laughs> awesome. So let's just park our cars. Oh, you know what? Let's be a little bit extra. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, I don't know what the handbrake button is. Oh my god, what's the handbrake? <laughs> and there you go. Awesome. The Breaking news. The organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the counselor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid. And I don't care. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to end the video here. <laughs> so this was Watch Dogs 2 First Look on Stadia. It allows you to do 4K30 or upscaled uh, 4K60. Um, I have been playing on the 60 version. As you guys saw, I did switch between the two sometimes. I think I did it twice. Uh, there is a difference between those two. I mean, the 4K30 does honestly look more detailed. But... I'm happy with 60 and the most important thing is if you can't do native 4k 60 and you're gonna go with native 4k 30 at least give us the option for upscaled 4k 60 and in this case they have they've done the same with Watch Dogs 1 which is great um, th there's just been a few frame drops as you saw towards the middle of this uh, this video um, aside from that it's been great it's been solid it's been smooth it and the game itself is fun as well. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be trying this once Ubisoft Plus comes out. It's definitely a game worth trying now. And there are some online components to this game, like co-op. Uh, and I believe there's online racing, but don't quote me on that. I feel like there was. I remember something like that. But I've never actually played online Congrats, in this game. Congrats, Marcus. Our follower count is growing fast. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching my video. This is Jam, and I'll see you on the next one.